Hello everyone, this is Platline, and today I'm going to be doing a, uh, pretty much a, an update on the YouTube video where I was like talking about how you deal with 1-on-1. So apparently some people are still having problems with this build. This build kind of died off because it was starting to get a lot easier um, to deal with, but there's still, you know, pro players like uh, Complexity Heart that still does 1-on-1. -on -one. And he's having quite a uh, success with it, so I can understand where uh, people are getting at with the one-on-one. -on -one. And some people still don't understand how to deal with it correctly, so. Um, so I'm going to go over a little bit more about it. Maybe I didn't cover too much about it in the uh, old video. But anyways, once this, gets, once this starts up, the thing about one-on-one... -on -one, is that makes it really difficult is the fact that you that there is about like 50 combinations or 50 army compositions that uh, Terran can pull off against you and you're confused because each one requires a special um, response to it for instance if they went one-on-one -on -one, what happens if they go double starport instead then yes, you're probably going to go Forge with Stargate. You need the Forge for the cannons, because they're not going to have any tanks for this uh, composition, I'll tell you that for sure. They're not going to have tanks for this, so every cannon can be super effective, because cannons are good against uh, Hellions, they're good against Marines, and they're pretty good against Banshees themselves. So overall, it's always nice to get those cannons up. But you're not going to do that against, you know, a Terran that's going the old style, or, you know, the pretty much robust style, which is, um, Marine, Tank, Banshee. You know, you, you won't get those cannons, because the cannons don't really help you out. Except, they might buy you sometime, but those minerals are going to die pretty quickly to tanks, because tanks do pretty good damage against them. So... And they outrange them, so they're not going to get really hit at all. So Terran's not going to really get affected by that whatsoever. It's just going to delay them just a little bit. Um, but yeah, so there's two responses you could do. Um, there's the one where you could be on one base for a while. That's when you go uh, one gate robo. And that's going to be the old YouTube video. You can just check it out in my channel. Uh, something about defending one 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 or something like that. It's a older YouTube video, but the build still works. That one I would recommend probably for um, anyone that is not comfortable with one gate fast expands, which is generally going to be you know maybe some platinum, some gold, um, even some diamonds. But I think most masters are, are pretty, you know, quick with this. Now, I scouted this, but this is pretty lucky by me, right? So how do I know, as Protoss, that he is actually one on one right? If I'm not able to get in his base over here. Well, at this time when I scouted, because I scouted him last, if Terran has three Marines, there's two options. One, he could have got CC uh, at their second supply depot, or... He's doing this. He's uh, going one on one, no reactor, and if there's no reactor on the barracks. Then, um, and he has no command center. He's going with the factory, right? He's gonna do the Hellion drop or the, the Marine drop with the Hellions at the natural. One of those, you know, situations. I was able to luckily uh, scout this, and the correct response is pretty much keep everything inside your base until you have enough units to defend your your main and your natural which is going to have at least three stalkers like you need the stalkers in there regardless so um, that's all you need to do he's getting his medivacs, he's getting his hellions so this is a pretty good scout by me um, if you go for one gate expand you need to throw down these two gateways and your chrono boost needs to be a little bit more safe than generally catered to your warp gate research if you're wondering when to add your second and third gateway stop probes around 28 to 30 ish and then just look at your cyber if it's like within 40 percent around 40 percent of it being done that's when you need to throw down your two gateway units then you can add your your uh second assimilator you know your pylons or your robotics you know that kind of jazz because you need to have the three warp gates on time because look at this 
This is the time they can attack you. It's gonna be right before seven minutes. Look at this, I got three stalkers and in a very good position. Look at my um, placements, pretty good. And I'm able to, to thwart this off as well. So my next warp in is gonna be some more stalkers here. Cause now he can still do the Hellion Harass, but it could be at the natural. But now I have three stalkers. I should be uh, pretty fine in this spot. So now you're gonna see me start transferring a couple more workers to my natural. There it is. You also want to chrono boost out your observer. You need to see, like I said, the problem with uh, one one is scouting and then reacting to what you see. So I also got a little cheese sauce drop. So this is what I see. I see him adding two more barracks. He has a tech lab. Uh, on the starport, he's probably going Banshee. Not a hundred percent sure if he's going Banshees or not, though. but still, still going with the tech lab. Could be the Raven. He's also got the uh, tech lab on the factory, so he's going pretty much tanks with this. The fact that he didn't put a tech lab on his barracks, I know he's not getting stem, so I don't need to rush for uh, Colossus. That's how you know when you don't need to go Colossus. So when pretty much they don't have stem and the initial damage you can pretty much stay on 5 gateway robo so once you see this happen you immediately stop worker production because I see that he's not expanding you can see this is pretty much getting stopped pretty well um, you see him not expanding so you need to stop workers you want to stop workers right around 40 you know, you have 30. I had 38, but then I lost two more pros. But um, actually, maybe I had more. Okay, I had 39, but that was one of them was stuck. But yeah, I had like around 38. So you want to have around 40-ish. Then stop right there. Get the five gateways. Get the robo. I'm adding a sixth uh, gateway. And you also just want to stay on two gas at this point. You only need these two gas. That's it. You don't need a third gas. You don't need a fourth one. You can see my chrono boost is pretty high at this point this one's actually maxed out and that's because I could just use it for uh, the robotics for more work gates to you know accelerate the uh, cooldown now I'm catching him when he's off uh, siege I saw that with my observer so I'm littling his army down as much as possible before he's getting siege once he gets siege you know this is this is gonna get pretty dicey where I push into him but since I killed off most of his majority of his army, you know, he's not going to have that much. A good time to retreat in this situation is when you're starting to lose a lot of zealots. And you don't have any zealots to pretty much tank and damage for you. That's when you, you generally want to back up or, you know, you see yourself about to lose. Look, this, is, this is pretty much one side. You can already look at the, the supply and just see the, the huge difference between us. Um, but yeah, so that's how you pretty much deal with a uh, one on one um, if he gets cloak obviously you can see I made multiple observers just in case he already has cloak I made three observers one to scout his main and then one with the army that was inside my main and then the one the other the last one's gonna be with the army at my natural that's three observers um, there's also the version where they get a Thor um, the Thor one's pretty tricky. You, you just gotta make immortals and target fire. Uh, against one one, you wanna stay about, um, I would say maybe like eight stalkers. You don't wanna have too many stalkers. I think eight's fine. If they're going, you know, if they're constantly making banshees. So that way you could deal with it. Of course, if they get the Raven, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, if they get the Raven, depending on if they go in double starport or not, they still get the Raven. Um, you want to target fire that with multiple sentries. You would probably get a couple more sentries. I only had one sentry because I did a lot. I, I negated his uh, harass pretty damn well. Like I didn't lose anything whatsoever except two probes to a banshee, but that's it. So I was pretty you know happy with that result and I was able to just make a lot more zealots and just overrun them 
I was gonna catch him in the middle of the map. That was my idea. Once this, uh, and you could do that as well. You could always engage in the middle of the map when you know he doesn't have stem, or he doesn't. He's not going for like mass hellions, marine, and double starport. Because if you catch him in the middle of the map against that composition, it's gonna get really dicey for you because if you start losing that battle, you cannot retreat. You know, by that I mean if you try to retreat, the Hellions, you know, outrun all your, your ground army. So it's gonna constantly hit your army. And if you take time to try to snipe them off, you're making it that much closer for the Terran to get towards your army. And then they're gonna add that DPS as well. So against that composition you don't want to really engage in the middle of the map unless you have blink if you have blink then that's fine um but generally if you see ravens you're not going to get blink anyways because ravens are pretty good ravens are pretty good against stalkers uh because of pdd but uh yeah so this is how you pretty much deal with it it's scouting what you see and then reacting if you saw uh, a tech lab and extra barracks being thrown down. You have to realize he's always gonna go reactor first. All right, as m in one on one, generally you're gonna see Terran get uh, the tech lab second, the reactor first. So his, his stem is gonna be a little bit later. So if they get stem, you gotta realize, okay, well this Terran is gonna go for a later one on one. That's gonna allow me to get a Colossus out on time. If they don't go for that tech lab at all, then that's when you're like, okay, that means I can't go Colossus. It's just going to be great uh, gateway units and immortals, depending on if you see that. Like if, if you saw double starport, you don't really want to make anything out of your, your robotics, except, you know, observers or whatnot, deal with cloak banshees if they're going to go cloak or not. Um, you want to instantly transition into... Uh, forge Stargate add about you know four to five cannons or even three if you want to depending on how you feel I always add about four or five Because uh, they they do amazing damage against a uh, Terran and Then use your Phoenixes to harass because it's fast it cannot get caught right because he's only the only thing that's gonna be able to shoot it Generally in double star per play. It's gonna be Marines, but the Marines are not going to be able to chase down the uh, phoenixes. So you can always try to force the PDD. You could probably pick off a raven that's, you know, trying to catch up with the army. All that kind of jazz is going to be awesome for you. Um, and you just stay really strictly to zealots. If you see a lot of wall ones you're going to see them go a lot of zealots in this situation. Uh, because they're, they're tanky. They take a lot of damage and you get up to their face by the time it happens. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about this. Um, if you like to one gate fast expand, you could, you know, basically it's kind of just like your regular old one gate expand cut probe. So you can add the second and third gateway when work gate's about 40% done. Then you add your, your second assimilator, your pylon, uh, and robotics as well. And yeah, but if you don't like that and you want to stay a little bit more one base so you can scout a little bit more like if I didn't get inside his base or you're still not really sure what Terran is actually doing, you can always scout inside his base with a, a, a quick robo then expand. Um, also, if you see this reactor and that's the only thing you see and you're wondering if he's going two racks or not, it's all about the marine count. If they're going one on one, then they go to tech lab. I mean, uh, reactor. They're only gonna have two marines when they're building the reactor. If it's g at the time that I scouted, so you might want to go back. It's about, um, I think, like four minutes, three forty to four minutes, something like that. If they're going two racks, they're only gonna have one marine, and then two marines are gonna pop out around that time when you get over there to his base. <clears throat> so. That's how you know they're going to go 2 racks or not, just by the count of the Marines. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. hope that little information helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel if uh, you're new to it and you like the content that I uh, give out. You can also leave comments. 
on uh, maybe suggest maybe you could suggest like a, a video that you want me to go over maybe it's a, a build that you're having problems with that some of some people are asking me to do another video for one one so you're still having problems with this so this is the video as my response um, it could be for all matchups um, and all that kind of stuff and if you have theory crafting as well you could also you know jot that down and I could give you my opinion on it and I know I've been kind of um, falling back on the uh, the videos um, I just been busy a little bit I was playing a little bit on the heart of the swarm beta only played like six games or whatnot and then I kind of stopped because it's <laughs> it's pretty bad for uh to even play on because I know it's gonna get fixed anyways but right now it's not looking too good for Protoss and oh last thing I, I completely forgot about uh, 1 1 if you know they're all ending put up proxy pylons just in case you need to you know warp in from the back and flank siege units uh, siege tanks that's all you're basically doing right here is trying to get them when they're siege you're trying to flank them but if they're not gonna be siege then you you know you can hit them straight forward it's, it's still fine so anyways, thanks guys for watching. I kind of rambled off at the end. <laughs> so sorry. But thanks for watching and I'll see you later.